Did you say hi to Peggy in there? Yeah. All right. Hello. Why is there no sound? What do you mean? Like this would be going? Huh? Yeah. I muted it, but I just. Maybe you can. Hello? Hey, I'm going to send you a link. Will you open it up? Yeah. Find your way. I don't think you really moved out of the way. <laughs> It's working, Katie. Can you hear? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
How are you? Nice to see you. Yes, I do. Kelly, what a treat. Hi. Goodness gracious. How are you? I just see you. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Oh, I'm 
He has helped several of us through really tough times. When I realized that the profound effect Denny had on my life was compounded hundreds of times over in the lives of so many other students, I knew we needed space to celebrate Denny Bain. And this is just one arena of his life. There are also those he knew through his case state cell business, as a friend, neighbor, community member, strong supporter of USM, an Iowa State alumni, you remember his uh, you know, shirts that he would wear everywhere with that on? University of Iowa. Sorry, University of Iowa. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs>
with them, and I, I feel compelled to say something a little bit about this. Uh, Debbie programmed this piece for me on a first recital at USM in uh, 1976. Uh, with the naivete of youth, I thought, why is you programming something that's easy for me? <laughs> with the wisdom and a 69-year-old face, I'm afraid now at this point, it might be too hard. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I wanted to give my attempt at honoring a, a great human being, uh, a mentor, a great musician, and a person who I followed my career. I tried to point my career in the direction that Mary Bain did, and I hope I succeeded. Thank you.
I didn't know Danny personally. I spoke to him all of 20 or 30 minutes about 10 or 15 years ago for a research project I was doing as uh, a doctoral student. And I interviewed over 100 different brass musicians, some of the most famous brass musicians that you would know, I mean, big names um, that played in brass quintets. Um, so these were members of the New York Phil, Chicago Symphony. And I was struck by our conversation, just the charisma we had. And, uh, you know, we didn't have Zoom or anything at that time, but I could like see a twinkle in his eye. He, he had a, lo a love of life, which um, really came through. So thank you all for coming out here. And uh, I hope, I think that the expression that comes to mind for me is uh, standing on the shoulders of giants. And Denny was definitely a USM giant. So I hope we can, in some way, continue those traditions and uh, live up to the, the amazing uh, reputation that he had here. So thanks again for coming out today, and this is going to be in trouble.
are you trying to do? Bring a little operatic music to this uh, afternoon performance. Um, Jose was probably most famous for writing the opera Carmen. And little did I know until I got to the Metropolitan Opera that he wrote this other beautiful opera called The Pearl Fishers. Um, this aria, Team the Folkier, is an aria where the uh, two male leads, a tenor played by Brad Leinart, <laughs> and well, <laughs> Joan, everybody. Um, and it's a, it's, it's a song where these two guys who had had a huge disagreement. This aria is, is about this pledge to be brothers to the end, uh, a story of friendship, and uh, you know, those of us who did it. We made everybody, every one of us feel like his best friend. So that bond and connection with people is essential. And we all felt it. And uh, it's hard to talk. <laughs>
very appropriate. Uh, the setting of Amazing Grace. Thank you. 
Ken in the program about Danny about the sophomore. I'm afraid if we did, I'm afraid his mic is broken right because he had him. That pointed right at me as we did that. So we're going to end with something uh, very festive, and uh, it's been a great evening and a great afternoon of one old tribute to one old man. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. 